and welcome back to my channel Ashane here if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to subscribe like comment share when you're finished and we're gonna just jump into this video this is gonna be a voiceover because this was just an Instagram video and everyone loved it so I decided to do a voiceover and explain everything that I will be using so we're gonna just moisturize these lips because these lips is crusty okay Okay guys, jumping straight into eyeshadow, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee. I love this concealer, this is all that I prime my eye with. And after I blend that out, I'm going to just set it with any type of setting powder because we don't want our eyeshadow to crease. Especially when using or matte shadows, I recommend that you set your concealer once you prime your eye. <music> Now, hopping into the Jaclyn Hill palette, I felt like this palette was the most perfect palette to use. And it's my newest palette that I purchased, so I thought I'd just give it some love. I'm going to use this peach shade right here. I don't have the palette right here in my face right now to give you all the names. Don't kill me. But I'm going to use that shade first, of course. And I was a little skeptical. I haven't done an all matte not cut crease the look in so long so i wasn't sure if i should put the dark shade first or put the light shade first but me putting the lighter shade first definitely gave me a way to map out how high i want this peach shade to go and how low i want it to be so i recommend if you do retry this look the same colors or different colors put your lighter shade first on your lid <music> Now, we're going to go into this nice purple shade. I love this shade. I'm going to just say, like, this makeup look really made me feel like I should have been in the Doja Cat Say So video. Like, she should have just hit me up and like, sis, can you be in my video? I would have been like, hell yeah, you crazy? But yeah, like, I was just giving face. The eyes was pink and the fur. Like, I was just giving life. But anyway. Yeah, so I just basically put this in my crease. I was being very sloppy with this. Um, I'm usually so used to doing cut creases to the point that I was struggling. You can't really see in this video, but I was just like, dag, um, it's not proportioned. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I've been doing cut creases so long to the point that I'm so used to having where everything's supposed to lay. But this one is just like a free hand type of thing. But it came out fire, so I'm not even mad. But yeah, so I just basically keep going in with the shade and keep dancing, of course, because I'm listening to some tunes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back in Jaclyn Hill palette again. I'm going to use this shade right here just to highlight my brow bone usually i use a shimmer shade like the shade that i used to highlight my cheekbones as a highlight but i'm going to use this because i want it to be an all matte seamless look um this youtuber i watch called omg lashes she definitely uses like matte shades as her brow bone and it looks so popping on her so i'm like let me try it and it looks super amazing like I'm so proud of myself in this video. I really killed this. Next is liner. The next liner is my favorite liner in the universe. It's super black. It dries down quickly and actually helps my lashes stick better. I don't know if anybody that uses it notices it, but it definitely helps my lashes stick. So I'm going to use this in the shade black, of course. And I just haven't done liner in so long and I'm like... You know what? This look needs some liner. So I decided to do a bomb wing here. I haven't done a wing in so long. If you guys want a winged eyeliner video, I do have a previous one on my channel. It has to be like two years ago. If you want me to do an updated liner video, get this video to 100 views, 100 likes, and I will do a liner video for you guys. And also follow me on my social media platforms. Thank you. 
So now I'm gonna use another Lix liner. I said Lix. NYX liner is in the shade pink. It's called, it's part of the Vivid um, collection. I love to use lighter liners over the black liner. It really makes the look pop. So I basically have, I don't think I have all the shades of the Vivid liner, but I have most of them. And it really makes my looks pop. It makes the eyeshadow pop. It just makes it look like animated, if I'm saying that right. <laughs> so I definitely recommend you just using some color liners because it, it's like the cherry on top. So I'm starting off with the Milk Makeup Cosmetics Grip Primer. This primer is fire. It really helps your makeup stay on all day. And it's really, really great in the summertime because, you know, you want you feel hot and sweaty with makeup on. Of course, this really helps your makeup to stick to your face and not move. So, yeah, you should go out and get this primer. This primer is definitely, definitely fire. So next, we're going to use the e.l.f. Cosmetics Putty Primer. I love this pretty primer so much. We need our freaking pores to be medium because we're going to be in a video. So we got to look seamless, flawless, and popping like hello. And I love this pretty primer. It's only $8. Pick it up. Like it really, really helps with the layout of the foundation. And we got to look popping like to the 18th book thousandth power. Okay, starting with the pretty fresh. I think it's a foundation, if I'm not mistaken, from ColourPop. I'm going to use this to actually color correct my blemishes. If you see, I have dark spots from old pimples. They're hating on me. But anyway, the, I believe the foundation that I use isn't that full coverage. So I'm using this as a base so that I can cover up my dark spots. And then once I put the foundation on, I could cover it up more. I mean, every foundation isn't as full coverage as you want it to be but you like the foundation. So sometimes you got to do another step. So I'm just doing this so that when I put my foundation on, I will look flawless. Cause you know, we in a video, so we got to look popping. Just saying. Now we are going in with the NARS Radiant Concealer. This is in the shade Marquise. Shout out to my old coworker, Tani, for giving me these. She had these foundations and she gave them to me because she knows I was like super into makeup so shout outs to her hey Tawny hey girl so now that I'm using this being that I use the base under you definitely don't see no blemishes there which is exactly the look I was going for so I suggest if you're using a base no sorry if you're using a non full coverage foundation make sure that you use a base under it like any concealer or whatever works for you so you can get the full coverage that you want yes i'm going off i don't know what song i was saying like i was going ham <laughs> is concealer time we are going in with the Too Faced chestnut concealer like this concealer was a game changer for me honestly speaking like I believe um, Jackie Ina um, teamed up with Too Faced to get these concealers and they are amazing I should have used the foundation that goes with it, but I was seeing that I was running out and I was like, oh, nah, we can't do that. So, <laughs> but this concealer is fire. Go get this concealer right now. Like, see how I'm dancing? Because I, I know my face is about to come out super flawless. Next is setting power. We're going to use the Fenty Beauty setting powder in the shade Banana. I love this powder. I just noticed that I can't use this powder with any type of concealer. Like usually all Fenty Beauty stuff, you should should be using all Fenty Beauty stuff. So honestly, like being that this concealer is high end, it works better with the Fenty Beauty setting powder. Now, when I use the Fuchs, the 
when I use the Fenty Beauty Selling Powder with the Fenty Beauty Concealer, it comes out even better. So it's contouring time and I love contouring because I love to chisel my cheeks and my double chin. <laughs> so I love going in with the Black Radiance. Like I don't think I use any other contour palette because Black Radiance just is the SHIT. I love Black Radiance products, their foundation. Oh my God, like they are super underrated. Like they are the SHRT. They are low key running the drugstore right now and being like black owned, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, they are, they are fire and a lot of people are not up on them. And yeah, so I don't know. I might do, comment down below and like this video if you want me to do an all black radiance um one brand tutorial let me know y'all let me know okay now we're gonna bronze with the fancy beauty bronzer in the shade coco naughty like honestly i'm not a bronzer person i think this is the only this is the second bronze i've used in my whole entire youtube slash ma using makeup career like honestly like i only have two bronzers i use and I really want to expand my bronzer collection. So if you all know some bronzers that you guys like, like let me know. Because I'm really trying to expand my bronzer collection. Because I can't be using all my Fenty. Like I use my all my Fenty all the time. Like I need to like really like branch out. If you've been watching me for a long time, I've been setting my face with the makeup forever. But... I've been on my NYX kick and I'm using the Can't Stop Won't Stop face powder. I don't know the shade, but everything will be linked in the description box. So if I don't tell you guys the shade and all this good stuff, don't kill me. But anyway, so I love this powder. It really gives me, it's like my true, true, true face shade like some are like a little bit orange but this is like more on the cool tone so it really sets everything for me and it doesn't give me like it doesn't make my foundation look overly coveraged because I'm trying to look full coverage but usually when you use a powder sometimes it looks even more powdery and I don't get that with this powder so I love it so much and now I'm spraying with my Mary Badescu spray because every time I set in my face I used a lot of powders so I want the powders to melt into my skin. So using a spray after using all the powders really definitely helps. It is highlight time. It is highlight time. <laughs> highlight is probably one of my favorites, favorite parts during makeup. I'm using the Cover FX Sunlight Custom Drops. See, one thing about me, I like my highlight to last all day, okay? So, my trick is, I'm pretty sure all the beauty gurus do this, but this is what I do, okay? I like to use a liquid base first. Because, you know, liquid first, and then you put a powder, it lasts longer. I mean, I wasn't a, a student in science, however, you know. So, I basically just put... A little bit of it, I, you know, I try to, you know, dab it out. I don't want to overdo it because I, I'm putting on a vibrant highlighter as it is. So powder, sorry, liquid first, then powder makes your highlight last long. If you didn't know, now you know. When I tell you this is a OG triple, 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 triple dipple highlighter, the Master Chrome from Maybelline, like, bruh, this highlight changed the game in the drug store. You hear me? This was the most intense glowing highlighter that came out in this time. Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh my God. And I still have the same one. Like I had this for like three, four years. No lie. Once it came out, I still have the same one. Like I have, I'm hitting pan, but I could still get some product out of it. So I haven't bought a new one yet, but it's like, 
literally the best like you looking for a drugstore popping highlighter and you don't want to spend money at sephora this is the way to go honey we about to be extra af and we putting some more highlight because guess what we are in a music video like we have to look glowy we have to look seamless we have to look flawless we have to look like a freaking milk chocolate bar like hello just saying so i'm using the wet and wild golden flower crown like this is my favorite I think this is my favorite one out of the Wet n Wild highlight collection. One of my favorites. But yeah, it just gives it an umph. I'll be using like four or five highlighters, y'all. Like, I, I'm just obsessed. Last but not least, we're going to be using some blush. This is the Sailor Moon Times ColourPop collection. I have a review on the collection. I will link it in the description box. Have it pop up in the cards. I think this is called Something Kitty, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to use this on my cheeks. Like, this has been my favorite blush thus far. It actually has little sparkles in it, so it gives you a highlight as well. I'm just trying to look like a... I'm just trying to beam. Like, everywhere I turn, everywhere I go, I'm trying to beam. You heard? So, this... I don't think this blush is available. It was just like a limited time type of thing. I don't know if they're bringing it back. So, yeah. Okay, so the lashes that I'm wearing is from Lash Kitty times a YouTuber called OMG Lashes. They are in the, sh I'll say the shade. They are in the style Drama Queen because we're giving drama. So now I'm going in with my NYX lip liner in the shade espresso this has been my favorite as you guys know if you've been watching my videos i use the mac chestnut but chestnut is like really getting small and this has been my dupe for it instead of paying 16 dollars for one lip liner i could just pay five for one like why not you know so now i'm going in with the makeup shayla times color pop lipstick in the shade ooh like ooh right so I'm going to put that in the center of my lips and we're going to just blend that out because this is like my favorite lip combo. I haven't used this lipstick in a while. Um, yeah, this gives it like a nice ombre nude look. This is the look that I wanted to pair with this eye because it just looks so good. Now to top everything off, I'm going in with the Sailor Moon Times ColourPop Collection Lip Gloss. I really, I think this is called Tiara, something like that. I don't know, don't kill me. Like I said, everything will be like linked in the description box. But I love this lip gloss. It just gives it like the perfect shade, the perfect blend. And I just love it. See, I'm just patting my lips like, ow. Okay, guys, we're going to use my more free continuously spray. And then after that, we are done. We're going to get into some slow mos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, follow me on my social medias. And I love you guys so much. And if you want another tutorial like this, giving super glam, let me know. I'll see you guys in my next video. Laters. <laughs>